Okay, now we've got the uh, SB110A uh, put back together and we're checking everything out. We're going to check the neutralization of the final and I'll show you how I do it here. This is the old standard method commonly used uh, on many, many uh, e pieces of equipment and I like it much better than, uh, than the method that they have in the heat kit manual simply because to me it's much simpler and easier to do. Here's our SB110A. You'll notice right here, I've disconnected the 100 ohm resistor that goes to this terminal right here. That's the B plus terminal. This is the screen voltage for the final amplifiers. That's disconnected. If you come around over here, on the top side, there is a feed through right there. It's really not in very good focus. Feed through capacitor right there. I took this wire off. I've got a little piece of uh, plastic tubing on it there. That, that was on the wire. I just pulled it out a little bit so the wire can't short out anything. So we've got the plate voltage removed from the final and we've got the screen voltage removed from the final. The rig had already been tuned up. Uh, the uh, driver is tuned. The final is tuned. So uh, as close as we could get it and so now uh, we got that done we're going to turn the rig on I've got the uh, Tektronix scope running over here and the Tektronix scope is clipped onto the output of the rig I got the probe on times 10 I've also got uh, a dummy load connected to the rig a 50 ohm dummy load one of the things I did back here too is I installed a uh, SO239 coax connector. There was already a hole back there, so all I had to do was punch the hole out to 5 eighths of an inch, and I put a single hole type uh, SO239 connector in there. So, we'll put her into transmit here, and you see on the scope we've got uh, an indication. There we go and we can turn our neutralizing capacitor now this should be pretty close because this rig was being used before and so it should be pretty close I hope so we turn that you see the difference there see how it comes down and dips right there we want to turn it for a minimum I'll get that on the scope better so you can see it okay now there it is there it is out of adjustment but you turn it and it dips down. So you want to go for the minimum. Right like that. And now you'll see it will jump a little bit because of the metal of the tuning tool. So I'm going to turn it a little bit past minimum. Oh, that's the wrong direction. It went up. There we go. That's it. I've set it for minimum. Now I've got that scope set for a whole lot of gain so it's not indicating much of a dip there when I tune it but that's what you're looking for and that's how you neutralize the final in the SB110A the best way to do it that I know of. That's it guys looks like the SB110A is ready to put on the air so we're gonna have to uh, put those wires back on there and uh, get this thing on the antenna and see how it works uh, that's it. I hope that this uh, little series of uh, boat anchor restoration videos that I made for YouTube uh, will be helpful to you. Uh, that was my intent to help you guys out there. Many, many Elmers have helped me. Uh, all of my uh, time I have spent with amateur radio, I've met many, many nice people who have given me parts and helped me do things, and uh, I'm just passing a little bit of that on. So uh, 73s and good DX guys.